Hey guys, it's Dennis with Modmai, and this is my fourth take on this video. It's <laughs> it's been pretty uh, annoying. I had a lot of audio issues which I had to figure out. Uh, I'm not going to go into details. You can check that out on my Twitter, which is right in the description, right below the like button. And uh, let's just get right into the video. So what is this video about? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I tweeted this. This is my old macOS setup, which is quite different from what you usually see in, Ma in Mac. Uh, it has different icons, it has a wide dock, and if you take a closer look, it has some changes in the upper right corner. Uh, I'm not going to cover that one today, and I'm not going to cover the dock, because the dock is actually C dock. I have covered C dock in an older video, which you can check out uh, on our channel, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to cover icon theme today. So, let's just get right into it. Uh, the first thing you have to do is obviously download the icon pack. The icon pack I used is called Numix Circle. Uh, it is originally a Linux, GNU Linux theme, uh, excuse me, for, uh, yeah, for, for GTK, I believe it's called. Uh, a designer at DeviantArt has ported this icon theme over to Mac OS, which is awesome. And, uh, yeah, let's let's just download it. I actually have it already downloaded here, so I don't have to download it again. But the link to this uh, page will be obviously in the description as well. Uh, and let let's just do it. So the first icon you may probably want to do is the most annoying one. This is Finder. Uh, Finder actually uses a whole different structure for icons than other apps because Finder is not really an application itself. Uh, it, it kind of is from a technical point of view, but from our point of view, uh, it is not. It's part of the doc.app, uh, and this is very annoying because you have to go into doc.app and modify the files from there. So I'm going to show you how to do it right here. Uh, the first thing you have to do is uh, go to Finder, right click on it, and go to Folder. Uh, this path will be down in the description, so don't even bother typing it out manually. Uh, just press go. And here we go, we see th these two icons, finder.png and finder at 2xpng. Those two have to be replaced, but not entirely, you need to back these two up. So my method for this is just clicking rename and adding a BAK at the end. Uh, like this, and this one as well. Uh, here we go. Here we go, a BAK. So now these files are backed up, you don't have to worry about them and you need to put these two new files in here. But as doc.app uses PNG and not ICNS like uh, macOS usually does, you need to convert these two. So go to the new, newly downloaded folder, uh, I assume you already extracted it, and find the icon you want to use for Finder. There are actually Finder dedicated uh, icons which you can choose and it does should look good if you want to keep this macOS kind of feel. Uh, I went with this one, which is kind of bad representation of the uh, macOS icon, uh, uh, finder icon. But I just roll with it. So what you have to do is go to this side, which will also be linked down in the description. It's called iConvert Icon. So you just need to upload these files you need you want to convert uh, from ICNS to PNG, and then download the PNG files. Uh, once you do that, uh, you have one PNG file, make sure to duplicate it and change the name to Finder and Finder at 2xpng, like these two here. So uh, once you've done that, go back to the resources folder, which you opened earlier, and drag these two over to the folder. Uh, you need to authenticate with your uh, admin administrator password and this one thing can be very annoying because uh, you may not be able to edit these files I'm not entirely sure you may have to disable SIP which is system Integ integrity policy or no protection and uh, It's a security feature with which Apple introduced in order to prevent system modification uh, Disabling it is kind of like jailbreaking uh, you actually just disable the protection which allows you to access the uh, root uh, file system and uh, everything on a computer, you actually make it your own. Uh, system and integrity policy uh, protection is uh, something called rootless, which uh, which describes the whole the whole process very well. Uh, disabling it may be a security issue, uh, depending on if you're a power user who knows how to actually 
uh, handle stuff if you know which programs to open and which not uh, you should be good to go it's just like jaybreaking has its benefits but also disadvantageous yeah <laughs> excuse me for that so uh, here we go we have actually just changed the finder icon but it's still the old one so what you need to do is go to terminal and type in this command right here it will also be down in the description so you need to put in your password and here we go so it's still the old one so what you have to do is kill all doc it's important that D should be capital because uh, Mac OS uses a uh, um, capital sensitive uh, format which means that if you don't put in the big letter it won't actually recognize it as doc so there we go and as you can see I have the new icon here it works wonderfully and looks great all right maybe it doesn't look great because I choose the wrong icon but you, you get the idea so uh, if you go back to the Numix uh, circle for OS 10 icon pack uh, the next icon should be Chrome, so let's just search for Chrome. There we go. So scroll down to the bottom and extract it here. Uh, now I have it here. What, you, what I have to do is go to Applications, go to Chrome, Get Info, and drag this one over here. There we go. So the icon has still not changed. You have to actually quit it altogether. There we go, drop it, and add it again. There we go. As you can see, the icon has just changed and now it's in line with the other icon, the final icon we just changed. Uh, this is a very annoying process because you have to do this for every single application on your computer. Uh, it's, uh, there's unfortunately no theme in engine macOS, so it's a very tiresome process. You need to spend some quite some time to actually theme your icons th this way. Um, but unfortunately there is no way around this so uh, we just changed it how do I change this back if I don't like this look I want I want the original Apple uh, theme for my Mac OS uh, what you do is actually go back to the get info page as you can see here uh, you just right click on it and get info and then you press on the icon uh, which you drag and drop the new icon file onto and now you press backspace it changed back so how to how do you like get it back on the dock? It's still the old one. You just do the same thing. Uh, drop this one and add it back. That way the icon cage for this specific icon will be updated. And here we go, we had the old icon. So how do you change it back to the find how do you change it back to finder icon itself? Not the uh, finder icon. Uh, you have to use the backup we did earlier. You do the same thing as we did earlier, just the reverse. You go to go to folder and then you input this path which is in description. I remind you and here we go we have the modified icons and the old icons so we rename these to no we have to delete this to first excuse me move to trash and uh, authenticate and now ch change the name here to the original name without the back suffix uh, here we go and we are good to go you need to clean the cage again and now you need to kill the dock and you're back up running you have the old icon theme again so uh some of you may actually want this wallpaper right here as well and just clone this up all together i'll provide it down in the description uh just like everything else so uh this is mostly it we have just themed and reverted the changes. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to check out the links in the description if you actually want to, to get get it done. And you can follow me on Twitter as well if you feel like it. I'm uh, at Dennis Bednots, which will be linked in the description. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.